Ooh, der Splenner. everybody, welcome back to the channel, Thomas Love here from beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia and today I'd like to give you my two cents about this new glass, the Nikon 135mm Planar. Why am I so thrilled about it? Honestly, 135mm it's not a focal length I ever used. And honestly, I am like a shooter, but I have always been a Nikon fanboy because I loved my D750 back in the days, I loved all my Nikkor glasses, 24 to 70, 70 to 200, 50mm f1.4, I had impressive results with the technology that was available back then, because then when we transitioned to this digital way of making photography, which you call now mirrorless cameras, well, I had a break, I went far away from the brand, I kept, hey, cha. I kept loving the brand, but honestly, now I'm shooting with Leica, but it's not that I don't appreciate Nikon, I just didn't have any excuse to go back to shooting with Nikon, and let's face it, for a few years, starting with the moment when Sony took over, because they started implementing alien technology, Nikon was a bit left behind. Now, in the last couple of years, I'm very happy to see that they are back on the scene, because with the Z9 first and then with the Z8, now they are the brand that I recognize, that I loved back then for decades, Nikon was one of the top brands in photography. And so I am very happy because with the release of Plena, Nikon is sending a very strong message out there. Guys, we do not need technology advancements, of course now the Nikon Z8, Z9, ZF will have IBIS, they will have the phase detect, the autofocus in tracking, the 3D tracking that we loved back then. But now, with this planar, finally Nikon is sending a message. Guys, we can dominate the scene with optical research and development. We don't need technology to be far advanced. We don't need technology, we don't need the aliens to tell us how to stabilize the cameras to have the best tools out there. And so assuming these 135mm will be the first of many other glasses to come, I can't wait to see what they will be able to create because with color fringing, with vignetting, all annihilated by this planar, well, this is the start of a revolution. A new era has to come. A new era is starting as we speak with this Nikon planer. And so I would be more than happy and curious to try it on the Nikon ZF. Why? Because I think the 24 megapixel is plenty. So there's no need to overspend to increase your budget because, you know, the Z8 is cool because you need to have the Z9 if you don't need it because if you need to crop and reframe afterwards, well, it's a need that you should not have as a photographer. You should aim for the best result possible directly in the camera, but if you need to reframe, if you need more megapixel, who am I to judge? So to me, Nikon ZF would be more than enough. To me, the 85mm f1.2 will be a superior, superior glass image, uh, yet so they valued this glass as the sharpest one they ever had to evaluate and Plena is supposedly even better than the 85mm f1.2 and so with this Plena and the Nikon ZF I would be more than happy to go out there and see how this new millennia impacted the photography because we said it many many times every time that you change brand or camera or glass it will affect it will change the way you are shooting yes you will be always the same photographer you have your preferences the way you shoot the way you see you envision the world the way you are framing that is not going to change but every camera every new glass every new technology will affect 
the way you're shooting. And this is also why I am also very happy with my current Leica Q2 and with the little Pixie because I'm not handing over to the camera any choice that I think makes my photos peculiar compared to other shooters, right? And so I'm still resilient, guys. We do resist change, ignoring the fact that change is life. But when I had to transition also from film to digital, it took me a whole decade because I didn't want to lose what I knew back then with the film. And digital, it was not comparable yet. And like the first DSLRs were two, four, eight megapixels and the quality, the sharpness of the images was not so good. But finally, with the last generation of DSLRs, I finally got my Canon 600D, if I'm not wrong, first. And I used it to travel the world on assignment. And then finally, with Google, I was able to pay back the budget for my D750. So I transitioned to mirrorless and I stayed with Nikon ever since. So now, guys, this new generation of mirrorless cameras with planar, with BSI stack sensor came. And finally, I cannot wait to go out and test them. So with that, I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, please remember to like it, share it on your social media, subscribe to the channel so you don't want to miss the new videos to come. And I will see you later. Thank you. Bye-bye. Lena.